In today's video, I want to show you guys how you can fix the problem that your city's Skylines 2 is crashing or crashing on startup. For the first step, we go into the search bar, look for the task manager, and here we can um, yeah, see our CPU and memory usage. And if this is really, really high, we have to definitely lower it. So like, um, yeah, Google Chrome needs a lot of my memory. And what I can do here, right click on programs you don't need right now. And then here we can easily end the task. So like uh, Discord, I don't need Discord right now. And then I can easily can end the task. And this will automatically lower your CPU and memory usage. After I click on start, uh, start up apps, and here we can disable the automatic startup from apps when you turn on our PC. So sometimes like these apps like Epic Games Launcher or Microsoft Edge directly start when I turn on my PC and these apps are running in the background and cost much energy. So what we can do here, right click on it and then we can easily disable it. Okay, and after that go into the search bar. And here in the search bar, uh, we look for the Nvidia app. And yeah, you have to go on the internet, type in Nvidia app there and then you can easily install the Nvidia app. And here you can easily go on drivers and can install the newest and best for scheme ready driver. But this is a specific tip for all all NVIDIA graphic card users only. For all other graphic card users or AMD graphic card users, you can go on the internet, type in your graphic card there after the driver download, and then you will also find the best driver software. So, and yeah, after that, close this, and then we can go into the search bar and look for the device manager. And here in the device manager, we have, um, yeah, this drives, click on the arrow on the left here, display adapters and processors. So right click on your disk drives, update drivers, search or make it for drivers, and here we have already installed the best driver. And we do this with all disk drives, all display adapters, this is your graphic card by the way, and all processors. And then here we have sound video and game controllers, right click on RealTech R audio or RealTech high definition audio, something like that. So right click on it, and then you can easily disable the device. If you have sound problems after that, no worries, you can also enable it again. And yeah, after that, your crashing problem should be fixed. If I could help you with the view, then please leave like and subscribe. If not, write down in the comments, we will definitely find a solution. And then see you next time.